Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today is going to be a sparkle shimmer filled video. But I have so many good things to show you. If you like long videos, this is going to be the one for you. I'm slightly overwhelmed because there's so many good things sitting here, but I want to just start right here. Okay, this is something that I have seen on many of the higher high fashion bloggers like Tamara, and it's the ideal diamond line. Now this is like fine jewelry with an edgy twist and it's 14 karat gold and it's real diamonds made sustainably in a lab. Now if you're like me, I did not know much about that and I don't even know if I had seen one before, but I promise you they are so beautiful and shimmery and shiny. I mean, you can tell that that fire of a diamond is there. So let me read you a little bit about this company. It's I-D-Y-L. The way you pronounce it is ideal. And it comes from the French word idyllic, which means dreamy and peaceful, which I love that. Okay, so these are lab grown diamonds, a more sustainable diamond. They require little of the earth's energy to grow and have the same clarity and sparkle win-win this is solid gold so like the earrings i have on and the necklaces that i'm wearing i will be able to keep these on as long as i want to i can take showers in them i can wear them to the pool to the beach you guys know how i love that especially in the summer so it will not oxidize discolor and withstand everyday wear every piece is handmade and undergoes in-house quality control to ensure the diamonds are perfectly cut and set in flawless gold and they're all designed to be mixed and matched and wear together especially like the earrings like little cuffs the chains different things like that so it's all made to be worn together and because it's high quality you can wear it forever so that's another part of the sustainability so this is the lucia and that is this little part that hangs and you attach to your diamond now you can order one or two i just got one because that's like the new thing is you just get one to wear on one ear and it just gives you a little bit of that edge. So I chose to wear it on my ear that I don't have this. Let me know if you think I should switch it over here. I'm not sure. I might even switch this to my second holes and take these little hoops out. I just started wearing them day before yesterday. So I'm not sure the best way I wanna do it. But what you do is you pick the studs. I believe they have three different sizes and then you can pick all kinds of little huggies and things to go with them. Like I said, they also have all kinds of like ear cuffs. I think Tamara has the one that has like the chain that hangs down. So if you're someone who loves that ear party, I know In The Fro is like that too. If you watch those girls here on YouTube, they always have this beautiful array of diamonds on and I just didn't think it would be affordable. But with this line, I think it is a lot more affordable, but it's still fine jewelry and still you have that diamond sparkle. This is the first thing I chose when they contacted me and this is the Lena. Lena is a family name and so I was drawn to it for many reasons. So I love this. I think it is the most beautiful, delicate little diamond necklace to wear every day. And even though it's tiny and delicate, it does pack a punch because the diamonds are so sparkly and because there's that group of them, I just think it's very, very flattering. And then I chose the initial necklace that has the L on there. And then it also has the diamond stud that goes with it and the necklaces are adjustable there are different little hoops for you to choose so i chose today to stagger them yesterday i wore them at the same length and they got a little bit twisted so i'm gonna have to play around with that because i would love to be able to wear these together i think they look so pretty they're so eye-catching they are just gorgeous. All of the packaging was so nice. It came in this reusable bag that you could use for your jewelry or your makeup. And then in the first bag, I actually got a little silk scrunchie, a little soft bag, and then I got a mirror. And that will help when you are traveling to be able to put your jewelry on. Let me show you these up close again. This is the Lena. And this does slide a little bit, not crazy. I, I noticed that it stayed. And then this is the initial necklace. 
which I think is equally beautiful. Okay, this is the diamond stud on its own. I love how it has the gold around it because it just makes it look, I don't know, a little bit different. And then this is the one with the Lucia. And like I said, you can get two of these, but I think the thing to do to be the cool girl is to just wear one. And we want to be cool girls, even in our 40s and 50s. So thank you to Ideal for sending these to me. I will put all of the information, all of the links down below. Please go and at least check them out. This will be great for a gift, especially from your husband. It would be a great anniversary gift. And like I always say, it would be a great gift for you to give to yourself. I love costume jewelry, but I have always loved real diamonds <laughs> and real jewelry. And one of the reasons is I love knowing I don't have to take it off, that I can put on at least one necklace. And then when you want to put your other costume jewelry on, I just put it right on with it and you know layer it up. So like I said, I will put all of the links down below and I hope you'll go check it out. The next thing I want to share with you is my Beautylish haul. It is that time for the Beautylish gift card event. You guys have been here with me for a long time. You probably know how it goes, but for those that are new, from today until Sunday at midnight, and I will put the dates down here. For every $100 that you spend, you get a $20 gift card. So now is the perfect time to either refill on those things that you love. They do have more luxury, high-end makeup, and it's also a good time to try things that you might not have ordinarily gotten. So I chose some things that I might not have ordinarily gotten, and I also brought out a few things that I feel 100% certain all of you would love, some of my favorite products, some that I use every day. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is the Sunday Riley Fairy Godmother Shimmering Body Oil Gel. I'll tell you what else I have on my shimmering tan body in just a little bit. I love body oils. And Sunday Riley is a well-known, very good, high-end, potent skincare line that I know a lot of you love. So this mixes both worlds. You've got your vitamin C, you've got CoQ10 antioxidant, Tahitian gardenia extract envelops the skin in nourishing tropical scented moisture. So this is going to have skincare ingredients, it's going to have moisture, and an all over golden shimmer that sinks in and nurtures the skin while glow boosting antioxidants supercharged vitamin C to dust the body with luminous radiance while targeting the appearance of discolorations. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting skincare, you're getting moisture, and you're getting that little bit of glow. Now, I didn't use it today because I used something else that gave me lots of glow, but I think this will be a really good product for us to try. Then this is something that I think was trending. I'm not a big TikToker, but sometimes I see them, like if someone sends them to me or if they're like reposted on Instagram. And this is the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. It was sold out everywhere. Matter of fact, Beautylish was sold out until I placed this order, but it is just an everyday setting powder that is not too dry and cakey. And when the girl used it on, let's see, I have a brush in here, I think. When she used it on TikTok, it was amazing the difference that it made. I'm not too shiny yet, but let's just take, okay, this is something I brought out to tell you about. One of my favorite brushes of all times it is the Sonia G Soft Cheek Brush. So I believe you can buy this separate or you can buy a set. I also recommend the whole set, but there's just something about this brush that is fabulous. Matter of fact, when I go on vacation, a lot of times I'll just take this for bronzer, blush, and highlight because I can use it for everything. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder and just go in here. I don't know if that's gonna do anything because I don't know if I had gotten too glowy yet, but oh, it is nice. And I love when I put my brush in it, it doesn't like boof all over the place and break up. It's just a really nice powder. I love Jouer products. I love their blushes, their blush duos. I have for a long time. Then I got, because I love the Jouer products, I got the Skinny Dip Powder Highlighter. I have just become a highlighter girl. I think it's sequins and highlighter and shimmer and disco balls and all of that stuff. I love it. I love it. I think it's just happy. You know, it's happy when you have a little bit 
bit of shimmer. It's happy when you have some sparkles around you, diamonds and everything else. So this is the shimmer powder. And I'll be honest, when I first opened it, I thought, oh my gosh, it's gonna be too dark because I really like a lighter shimmer so that it gives like that volume. That's the beauty of a good shimmer is it gives you volume on your cheeks. I can see it instantly when I put it on and this one did it. I don't know if you can notice, but see how that shimmer right there gives my cheeks volume. It accents them, it enhances them, and I love that. So loving both of these, and I recommend these for even our age. If you want like an adult shimmer, I think you would love this. It is just beautiful. Then how many times have we watched Tati and wondered how this would be? This is the RCMA Foundation Concealer Palette VK number 11. A lot of times this particular palette, the shade will be sold out and I have tried this smaller one, but it wasn't the same because you didn't get as many options. I think what makes this so loved by makeup artists and Tati loves it and you'll see Tati will even use like a big brush and kind of go in a section. I haven't gotten that brave, but today I I did use, I think, this shade for my bronzer and contour, nothing else. And then I used this shade, this shade, and this shade for my concealer. I didn't set it at first, and then I think I went over it lightly with the medium Charlotte Tilbury powder, and I am loving it. I feel so summertime, so spring, which by the way, happy spring. Spring started this week, even though it's been a little bit chillier here. I'm not complaining, but anyway, this is just a fun palette if you're like me and you love like a highlighted, contoured look, or you just love makeup in general, or you just want something quick and easy. And you can also use this for foundation. And then the last thing I chose with this order is the Charlotte Tilbury Dark Pearl. I wanted to use it today, but I couldn't decide and I felt like I already had like a lot going on. So I'm gonna show you what else I used on my eyes, but look how pretty this color is. It is like that grayish, taupey pearl color. I'll try to use it in the next couple of days. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me so you can see it. I think that is going to be a fabulous crease shade. And it's also a good one to go up underneath your eyes. So loving that. And then a couple more things I wanted to tell you about in case you are placing an order, the Wayne Goss eye pencils. Both of these are just my go-to eye pencils for my lower waterline. This one is Tiger's Eye. It is absolutely beautiful. It is like a bronzy brown with like this gold shimmer. It's gorgeous. Then when I want more of a cool tone, even like when I was doing like a Pamela Anderson look or something like that, or Kate Moss, Bridget Bardot, and you want something that's not black, but almost black. This one is so good. This is granite. So you can see it's almost like a blue black or just a dark, dark, dark charcoal. It is gorgeous. Both of these would be good too. I don't know how many people watch Yellowstone, but Beth always has her eyes. Waterline and everything. If you're someone that does that, I think you would love these. They last. They don't like gather right here or right here, but they're not something that bothers my eyes and they're easy to get off at night. I don't like some of those that are so inky and goopy that yeah, they pack a punch and they stay, but I feel like at night I have to literally take the makeup remover and go inside my eye. They're not like that at all. And then one of my favorite blushes, especially for the summertime, and today I was able to use a lot of my summertime makeup because I had done a tanner that I'm gonna show you. So I was having fun with it. I used a Tom Ford foundation. I used this blush. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop in Ecstasy. And it is like the perfect peachy pink. I also like Pillow Talk, but that one can get a little bit dark. This one is just such a foolproof, everyday good blush. I love it, I love it. I forgot how much I loved it until I got it out today. Then this is my favorite thing that I wanted to show you. I don't wear this enough. It is beautiful. I could wear this every day. And it is the Wayne Goss Smoky Quartz Palette. It's cool toned. It's not a gray cool toned. It's more like that 
chocolate, cool toned. I don't know how to describe it. And then it has a little bit of those tones that are in the NARS Skin Deep palette. Remember how much we love that and they discontinued it? It is just beautiful. I love it. I'm wearing it today. This color is such a good one and done if you just want one in your crease. I use them all. I didn't use the sparkle today because I felt like I was sparkling everywhere else. And the next thing I wanted to show you is the new Colleen Rothschild Illuminated Tinted Eye Cream. First of all, one of you asked me about this and I had not gotten it yet. She sent it to me in PR and I was thinking, I wanna try that. So luckily, I think it was the next day or the next day. I got it in PR. The first day I used way too much. This is part of skincare and your makeup. This is just as correcting as any corrector I think I've ever used as far as makeup. You are going to love it. So now I know just to use a teeny tiny little amount like that and I treat it kind of like I do shape tape or something like that. I will rub it in my hand like that and then put it underneath my eyes. You guys, it feels so good. It makes a big difference. This is better than the banana bright eye cream, all of them, this is better. I think this is so worth a try. I mean, I think yesterday it was, I did not even have to use concealer. I just used the powder. It is really, really good. It's the new Illuminated Tinted Eye Cream. Reduces dark circles, improves fine lines, restores hydration. Retail $48. Key ingredients, illuminating spheres, brightens under eye darkness, caffeine, energizes and revitalizes, hyaluronic acid, plumps and hydrates, and peptides help reduce the look of fine lines. It is so good. You guys are gonna love this. Now let's get into some more summertime goodness here. I ordered this from J. Crew. J. Crew has good bathing suits. A lot of them are a little too conservative for me. But I remember years ago, I had a friend who she did not buy a lot, but whatever she bought was the best quality. Like she would save for a couple of months to buy one pair of sunglasses, but they might be Chanel or Gucci. And she would have that one pair of sunglasses, but they were really good quality. And it always stuck in my head that she would get her bathing suits from J. Crew because she said they were the best quality, they lasted the longest, they lasted her the whole summer, and they were the best fit. So I always had that in mind. So I grabbed just a normal black triangle bikini top because this is what I go to, I would say, eight out of 10 times because I will switch up the bottoms. And if I'm in a hurry, I know I can grab this and go. It leaves minimal tan lines and you can slide this and get good coverage and get it good and tight. Whereas if the cups are fixed on the band, a lot of times to get it to fit my boobs and my circumference, they're real far apart. So if you have that problem, you have big boobs, but you're small and that happens to you, this is the only way to go. You have to get one that kind of slides and adjusts along the string. And then they had this bottom, which is perfect. I can't remember what the style is, but of course I'll put all the information down below. I got the small. Hmm, I can't believe I did that because I usually get mediums. It depends on what they're small. If they're small as a six, I do. But this is the bottoms that I got. So they're high cut and a little bit high rise. This will be perfect. Now on to sunglasses, another one of my favorite things. Preve Revo is one of my favorite brands. I have purchased so many from them. And one of my favorite styles is the Coco and the Victoria. So they were nice enough to send me some of their new styles. I'm not being paid to talk about it, but they know I love their sunglasses. I'm gonna start with the best ones because I'm most excited about these because they're different. This one is the Port Miami and all of these are polarized. So when I put these on, I can't even see the viewfinder here, but I love these. See how they're the light lenses so you can still see my eyes. And I love it when this is light. It doesn't give me that heavy feeling because a lot of times I can't stand that. In the car, it will just drive me nuts. It almost makes me feel too closed in. 
I like the light lenses. These are just perfect. I think they're really cool too and they're pretty. They remind me of a, I don't know what made me think about this. They remind me of a Jolly Rancher. The way they're just kind of see-through, they're really, really pretty. I love these. These are my favorite. These I wore yesterday and they are very, very chic, very Hollywood. I really enjoyed them and they are just the classic black round. A little bit of the, what would you say, like Audrey Hepburn or just, I don't know, I think these are just classic. They're a little bit of Celine, a little bit of that Chloe look. They're kind of like funky, but in a classy, glamorous, chic style. And the name of these is Morningside. And their glasses, I mean, they do not feel cheap. The quality is really good. The next ones are the Palmera, and these are very interesting and oh they fit so good see how they're not touching my cheeks at all yet they're the kind that i can do like this in my hair i love it i love it i love these these are going to look good with your all white outfit and you guys know how much i love pink and they've got those really pretty interesting sides and then this last pair is the venetian and of course these fit great because they have the nose pieces so they stand off of my skinny nose and these are very very Hollywood. This is probably one of my favorite styles. These have the little bit of gold on there too. They're just really pretty, really classic. I can just imagine wearing these when you're really dressed up or like I have on today, an all black outfit. And then each pair comes in this case and it is foldable. So if you want to fold it up and put it like in your bag, but be able to have it when you're traveling or whatever. Okay, this next thing is, John could not understand my excitement when I unpacked this. Goes with my disco ball love, my love of the 70s, and I just love the way this looks, especially like with other things that don't go with it. You guys know how I like things that don't go together. But the planter that I have upstairs, and every time I look for a planter, they are for hanging baskets. But I have had one upstairs on my coffee table that I love with my plants in it. But because it's a hanging basket, it just rolls all around and I just have to kind of set it as straight as I can. So I kept looking for a disco ball planter. Well, I never could find one with a flat bottom, but I found this, an ice bucket. So you could use it for an ice bucket for a party if you wanted to, but it is perfect for a planter. When the sun comes in there and it hits that just right and it puts like all of those little sparkles and everything on the wall with all of that white molding, it just looks beautiful. I love the way it looks with like the plants and the other things and like the book with the pink on it and everything. It's just so pretty. So I thought I would show it to you in case you wanted to have some disco sparkles in your life too. Two favorites of the week the Moroccan oil hair and body spray. If you love the scent of Moroccan oil products, you will love this. See how it was a light spray? You can put it in your hair. I love it. It's a little too much for me, like before I go to bed. I have tried to just like spray my whole body down before I put my pajamas on and it was just a little bit too much for me. But for summer, this is perfect. You could spray your arms, your legs, your hair and have that similar to the Chanel water, you know, have that scent, but it's not going to be a real loud scent that everyone smells, but your skin and your hair just smell good. I also, I love everything Moroccan oil. I love their oil. I love their hand creams. I love their soaps. I have almost, I think I have almost every product that they make, but this one is just a good one. And I think it's good for those of us that just want to smell good every day, but don't want a heavy perfume every time. This is only the second time I have done my hair like this, where I just let it dry naturally. And I have to say, I love it. I love it because it is so easy. I don't feel like I'm damaging it with a hair dryer or the curling iron or anything else. And the products I've been using have been my Kerastase oil, just one pump, my Kenra mousse, the volumizing mousse, just a little, about the size of an egg, a small egg, and then this. So this has kind of taken the place of my In Common Spray and the Wow Curl Spray. 
So I've just been spraying this in my hair, not brushing it out. I brush it before I get in the shower. That way I don't have a big knotty mess, but I don't have to brush, you know, the curls that I have out and it has been working great. This is just a good product. Honestly, I can't believe that I like it because the way it says keratin-like treatment usually would cook me out, but I've learned it doesn't always mean that. It just makes your hair soft and silky and really, I hate to say fluffy because I don't really like fluffy hair, but you can see that it leaves it soft and plenty of body. That's what I would say. It gives it plenty of body. So loving that. And I think you guys should try it. You might not like it, but I do think it's worth a try. Okay, I don't know if you've noticed my Savage Tan. <laughs> I had no idea everything was gonna work this well, but my friend Tammy sent this to me on Instagram when it came out, because she knows I like stuff like this. It is the Dolce Glow and Miley Cyrus Endless Summer Tanning Set. I think I just got it yesterday, and so last night when I got out of the shower, I was thinking, okay, I want to use this so I can tell you guys how it works. So I used the Dolce Self Tanning Mist, and I will say that it is no joke. This is different than a gradual tanner, and the spray was perfect. It was just a perfect, smooth mist. The problem was, next time I want to do it in the shower because I just laid a towel out and you know was going to spray it. Well, it does have pigment in it. The good thing is, if you use tanners, you know how the best color is kind of like that green kind of color? That's how it is. So I knew I would like the color. It's not gonna be orangey, but when it came to like spraying my chest and everything, I was a little bit scared. I just did it just a little bit because I would rather look like Frosty the Snowman than have my grout and everything stained in my bathroom. So I told John about it and he said, well, next time just do it in the shower and then we can just spray it down. So that's what I'll do. But it had a really nice mist. It is medium dark, dermatologist tested, allergy, moisturizing, anti-aging, fast drying. It did dry fast, buildable, subtle scent. I don't even remember thinking of a scent at all. I think this morning I smelled a little bit of it and it had a scent kind of like coffee, like black coffee. That's what it reminded me of. It also comes with a face tanning mist, which I have not tried. I'm a little scared. I thought it was a good deal for all of this. It comes with the Kabuki. This is good to use, like if you want to spray the Kabuki and then do your hands. It's also just a good Kabuki brush anyway. And then this is probably my favorite product, which I knew it would be. Matter of fact, if it didn't have this in here, I don't know if I would have ordered it, but I love a body glow and body tan. That's what this is. It's the MIA Instant Body Glow. And I used it today and that is what you see. So the tanner did work, but I've been doing the gradual tanner for you know weeks now, but this was what really did it. It is beautiful. It is very dark. It's luxury hydrating formula, self tanner free, tinted luminous finish. So if you're someone who liked the Vita Labrata like I did and then they discontinued it, you will love this. This is the kind of stuff I take with me on special events because I know it'll look beautiful. I don't have to worry about self tanning streaks or anything. And then I just rinse it off when I get home, I take a shower. So loving that, that's my favorite part, definitely. So the Dolce Glow by Isabel Alyssa. And I love this package. I love the minimal and I love the picture of Miley. Miley and I, we go way back to Hannah Montana. Okay, shoes. I did exactly what I told you I was gonna do. These are the ones that I had ordered in the white and I just never could love them in the white, but yet I love the shoes. I love that they have the Velcro closure. I love the really cool heel, the wedge, and I love a T-front sandal. Just so sexy so comfortable. I haven't forgot about my shoe trends video. I'm actually waiting on some shoes to come in for that video, but love these and recommend them. Then Brooke came home and said that one of the ladies that she works with had these on and she thought I would really like them because Brooke knows I love the look of tennis shoes, but they have to be just the right ones. And she thought I would like these and they, they weren't that expensive. They were less than $100. And it's these Adidas Nizza is the name. And they come in different sizes. 
I just got them and they actually even come with a pair of black shoestrings, which I can't imagine, but they are really cute. I tried them on yesterday and took some footage for you guys to see, but I do love that they have the platform, but it's not crazy. I thought instead of bringing all of my clothes downstairs, I would just bring you up here to my room. I just steamed everything yesterday. And so I have it here on my rack and let's see what I got this week. Okay, I loved the Gap, the vintage high rise so much. I wore these yesterday, you guys. No wonder everyone loves these. I had so many of you say, these are your favorite jeans that you buy them in every wash. So I wore these yesterday and I went to Gap to see what other colors they had. And I ended up getting, where are they? I think they're downstairs. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go downstairs and get them. But here they are in the distress. She says she thought this was the most popular line or the most popular wash. They remind me so much of my mother, Tomcat. I would say get these first and just see how you like them. And then if you really love them, then get the Tomcat. But these are just amazing. Then I had ordered these. These are the linen tees from Gap. Remember when I would get these, were they the Moreau tees or it might have been tea by Alexander Wang? One of those had the linen tees and there's just something about them. They just hang across your body so differently. It's neat. It's like it's a casual material, but the way they drape on your body makes them look really, really pretty. So I grabbed those. Guys, I've got like one bar left on my battery, but this is another linen t-shirt that is so nice. And it has that thing where your bra won't show underneath your arms and it gives you the sharp shoulders. It's kind of like a cropped design, meaning that it's just kind of of boxy so pretty without a doubt this is my favorite one this is just like my favorite type of top it's fitted it's ribbed and it has ruffles at the sleeves it just gives you that sexy feminine casual can be dressy if you were to wear this with a skirt or trousers i just love it i really recommend this one and i got a small so i would say it's pretty true to size and then these were a little bit of a surprise because i was not expecting them to be highlighter pink they're trousers from express they're the relaxed trouser mid-rise and i always get the six and i love them though they're very happy summery, just a really nice look. They may be a little bit out of your comfort zone if you are hesitant about wearing a bright pink, but if you are a pink lover like me, then I think you will love these, especially in the summer. I think it's easier to get away with like the brighter colors. This little tee surprised me because I was thinking that it might be just a little bit too frilly and too little girly for me, but I think it's really pretty. It's from J. Crew, and it has these flower appliques and I thought it looked really good with denim. Just a sweet little t-shirt, very soft, thin, would be perfect for summer for sure. Just something different. And it really goes with that floral applique trend. It's a good way to do that. I picked up the 90s jeans from Gap that I love so much. These are like the coolest jeans ever. And I had to order the white ones. So I got these, I get the size 427 and they're a loose fit, but that's the way I like them. That's the way they're supposed to be. And then remember I was telling you in my Zara video that I'll put up here, I got that really cool little chiffon little cape thing and I was saying that I needed to get the modern tank because they fit really close to the body and because they are not ribbed or anything they're just a really sleek tank top a great layering piece so I got the white one and then I got the pink one so that I could do either one underneath that these would also be really good to wear underneath overalls I know that sounds funny but I can't be the only one that loves overalls. I even saw, I've got it saved somewhere. I saw this morning an overall dress that I might pick up because I have always, I remember wearing overalls in my twenties with bodysuits underneath because I think you need something fitted underneath to give it the look that I want. So these are really nice to have. So that is it. There's something else I wanted to tell you is don't forget about the Saks Friends and Family Sale because both of my new Stella McCartney handbags are on sale. I could not believe it. I believe they're like 25% off. So I wanted to tell you that. 
Don't forget about the ideal. I have a code for 10% off. I will put it right up here and I will put everything down below. Thank you to ideal for sponsoring part of today's video. And I will see you guys again this weekend with my latest Zara styling video. Bye-bye.